In Malaysia, the annual Buddha Day ceremony is something that is very dear to all the participants. This annual grand production has 12 years of history, from the mini size event to one of the biggest in the world now. Volunteers from Tsijin Malaysia chapter work together year round to create the stunning masterpieces. Malaysia's Buddha Day ceremony started out very traditional and now is modernized by creative patterns. In 2008, the Buddha Day ceremony moved outdoors to the Bukijali Stadium for the very first time. The biggest challenge was the fact that we had no idea what an outdoor Buddha Day ceremony entailed. We did a lot of research and trail and errors before the final products came out. There was a new challenge in 2010, where the outdoor gymnasium had a game the previous day. The volunteers weren't allowed in to start preparation until late in the evening. When the football game finally ended, we all thought that immediately we could start setting everything up, but we realized that the whole stadium was littered in trash. We had to clean every seat and pick up all the garbage. In May 2012, there was no forgetting about the downpour that covered the whole football stadium on ceremony day. What a good learning experience. Every single one of the volunteers woke up super early to help clear all the rainwater that was flooding the stadium grounds. All the volunteers put away their worries and focused on problem solving. They temporarily rented a water pump and manually carried each bucket of muddy water out of the field. In order for the ceremony to go on smoothly, all the details needed to be followed, such as the attracting stickers, decorations for the tables, and sound systems. Organization is key. There were a total of 32 people per group to set up the markers, which is a faster, more organized process than before. We used to take two days, but now we can do it between two to four hours' time. Using a carefully thought out mathematical equation and a beautifully mapped out pattern, what's on paper becomes reality. There's room for zero errors. It's very convenient to use the mathematical equation to calculate the patterns and movement. This way we can quickly place the volunteers into their specific assigned spots. Everything comes together nicely. We all work as one unit, moving with the sutra chant. With the bamboo coin bank pattern, it became an interactive graphic design. We wanted to challenge ourselves. This was all done spontaneously with some clothes that we found on site. For the Tsiji volunteers, the year 2014 was a giant turning point, where they came together with the official opening of the Kuala Lumpur's Jinsi Hall. This was where they had a sense of their own home for conducting Buddha Day ceremonies. I finally realized that we shouldn't dwell on the size of the venue, but be grateful that we have our own space to call home. We should always adapt events to the spaces that we are given. This is a good way to keep track of city history. The Buddha Day ceremony has evolved in many ways. Patterns, number of participants, and overcoming challenges. The creativity keeps on evolving without forgetting the deeper meaning behind the Buddha Day ceremony. The event first took place in Malaysia in 2006, and it has been going strong for the past 12 years. Three, four.